everyone, my name is Jasmine Solano and you're tuning in to Surviving Senioritis and I'm here with Samantha Valenzuela and we also have a guest joining us. My name is Ben. <laughs> so Ben, how has your senior year been? My senior year has been pretty good. Honestly, a little stressful only because of the pressure of college, but otherwise it's been pretty good. Okay. Uh, do you feel like, like you said, it's stressful. So do you feel like academically it's like harder? Like, do you feel like... Like, why is it stressful just besides college? I just feel like my GPA right now, like our senior year grades, college does look at that after admission and stuff. So it's just super important for me just so I can help my GPA out for college. Got it, got it. Um, so since you're a senior, have you created any new habits? Like hobbies or anything? Yeah, like school-wise? Like have you gone into a routine or anything? Um, not really. Just doing the same stuff I did throughout High school, just less procrastination because I procrastinated a lot last year. So improvement. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay, so a hypothetical question. If you could go back in time, like if you could be a grade younger, like a junior or like a freshman, would you or would you want to be a senior still? I would probably go back to freshman year, even though I was annoying as hell freshman year. But I'd probably go back because freshman year screwed me up academically. So if I knew what I knew now, I'd probably go back and get my grades better and try harder. So you would go back to, like, fix it? Yeah. Got it. Would you go back? I don't know. I think so. Honestly, same reason. Like, really? Yeah, because Gonzalez was telling me that my freshman year is the one thing that's, like, holding me back from, yeah. like, getting into, like, certain colleges. So, yeah, probably freshman year. I haven't talked year. to Gonzalez, and now I'm kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like my grades weren't that bad. Mine weren't have? bad. Oh. Do you have any C's? I had some C's. I had some C's, yeah. I think I failed Spanish, yeah, so I had to redo one that. Was fine. The algebra one screwed me over. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, I was kind of, I was fine. I had Jones. He's a good teacher. He's a great teacher. For sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so what's keeping you motivated <laughs> this year? Literally college. Like, UCR has been my dream school. So getting into UCR is my biggest motivation. And just setting an example for my little brother he's probably watching this right now but just so he sees me getting in and trying hard to get into college I want him to do the same yeah I feel like I relate to that a lot I don't know I'm like the first one too like I'm the first one out of all my siblings so I don't know I feel like there's a lot of pressure to like go to college and stuff and I'm like well what if I don't get accepted yeah like, I'm just gonna have to go to a CC <laughs> I don't know I get you I'm the, I'm the youngest, so it's like, I mean, they all went. No one's went to, like, a four-year, so I would be the first one, like, attempting and, like, actually applying to a four-year, so that's, like, sort of the same, but You're not trying really. to do that for softball? Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying sure. to get recruited, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, what is your favorite thing so far about being a senior? Is it the free periods? Is it driving? Is it, what is it? Like, what do you like? Honestly, being a senior is just a different vibe, like, Underclass, it's not even about driving or whatever, because driving is overrated. <laughs> Gas is crazy. But, like, it's just the vibe of being a senior, you know? Like, you have more but less responsibility, and, like, it's less stressful than other years, but more stressful, if that makes sense. Yeah, I got but you. Yeah. I mean, it's easier in a way, but you still have to focus really hard for, like, college, if you're trying to go to college, you know? Yeah. yeah. Are you in any extracurriculars? Um, yeah, I'm in a couple clubs. I'm in CSF, NHS. I was in Make-A-Wish before COVID, and then I play tennis on the varsity team. Do you feel like being involved in that many stuff, like, kind of impacts how your grades are, too, because you're, like, so involved in multiple things? Um, well, my first semester of my junior year, I only did, like, clubs and stuff and sports, but second semester, I got a job, and trying to balance sports and a job in school was hard, and that took a big hit to my GPA. So it, w it was challenging for me to find that balance, and I feel like that's why I changed my procrastination this year. It's because I procrastinate so much just to do the fun stuff that I forgot about, like, my academics, you know? Yeah, and you said that was junior year that that happened? Yeah. So do you feel like it was also harder because of COVID? Yeah, it was definitely harder because of COVID. Um, I, I, I couldn't learn just online, you know? Mm -hmm. It felt like busy work, just giving us worksheets just – do whenever so yeah I prefer in person only because I can like do hands-on stuff and see my friends and like get actual teacher instruction so for those extracurriculars is it like are you like 
specifically someone or are you just involved with the club like are you like president like do they have roles like that like for tennis and then your extracurriculars um so for tennis we don't really have a captain we just have certain rankings in the team last year i was with um my doubles partner and we were number one singles so this year i'm definitely trying to go for the number one um well we were number one doubles and i'm trying to go for singles this year but in the other clubs i'm just a member i'm not anything special okay, like that wait, so for like tennis how does that work like the whole like doubles and stuff so doubles is two people on the court mm -hmm. and singles is one Okay. So with the people on the team, we determine the number one player, two player, and three player, or the best team for single doubles, I mean, and then number two and number three. So it's like a team within a team within a team. Yeah, basically. So are you, you, you're a single, like, right now? Um, yeah, I'm going to play singles this year. Our season starts in the spring, but last year I was doubles, but I'm going to make my senior year singles. So then do the people, like, after school, because sometimes I see them, like, playing, they're just doing it for fun, or, like, what are they so doing? Like, athletic PE, that's when, like, people, whoever, can play. But then after school's our practice. Right now is the girls' season, so they're out there practicing. Oh, and okay, playing. got it. They're probably playing right now. But, yeah. <laughs> is it, like, okay, so for, you said you want to be, like, the top single, right? Yeah. Is it super competitive, or do you think you have it in the bag, like, looking at your competition? Well, my competition is pretty good. We're all homies. We all practice at the same park, so, like, okay. we know each other's game. So, we all we all practice together. And, like, week on weekends, we'll play together and stuff like that. So we're pretty much, like, if not better, but, like, we're the same. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be close. But, like, to get a spot, you have to beat that person twice right. to get their spot. It's called a challenge. So, right. so I think there's going to so be a lot of those. <laughs> so if and when, if and when, I don't know who's going to win it, but um, do you think there's going to be any beef? You said you guys are close. No. So. No? No, nah, it's, it's that whole group. Alex, Jason, it's that whole group. So we're, we're super tight, and we're going to have fun either way. So no beef? <laughs> no team? No beef. No drama? No. Nope. Nothing? No. Nope. I guess that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's all fun. <laughs> all fun and games for real. Yeah. So specifically tennis, is there, like, a specific reason why you want to be top spot? Or, like, why is it important to you for tennis? Um, so tennis, when I came to high school, I didn't even know it was a sport. I played soccer, and then Fairchild just talked to me one day. He tried recruiting me, and I was like, no, I'm going to go do golf, you know. And then he recruited me, and I came out one day, only because some of my uh, soccer player teammates were going. And I went, and I was like, I'm pretty good at this. And then freshman year, they pulled me up at the end of the season of varsity. And I've just been at it since. So it's became a passion. It's like it's fun for me, and I like going to practice and matches. So I definitely want to be at the top so I can improve my game and know what I can do. Wait, you wanted to do golf? <laughs> I did, yeah, because I, I play with my dad sometimes. So I was like, it's the way I can get better. And just wanted to do a sport freshman year. So. Wait, so then why didn't you choose soccer if you already played soccer? Well, I didn't really like soccer. I played, like, since sixth grade all the way eighth grade. And then eighth grade, I got hurt. So um, I was like. So you're like, golf it is. Yeah, golf it is. <laughs> just pick, an <laughs> pick another sport. Okay. Yep. So, um. <laughs> You're an avid, right? Yeah. Are you anything for avid? Or? I'm a social chair, so we plan the so avid social at the end of the year. So like, how does that like? Yeah, yeah. Can you we need to explain. Can elaborate. We have, like, the inside okay. scoop. So basically, you know, like people for pep rallies, the people that are down there introducing clubs and sports, mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. planning the whole thing. That's what we do for the avid social. So we're introducing freshman and sophomore, junior of the year, doing like the certain awards, talking to but like teachers and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. We're just, like, planning and hosting the whole thing. And you guys start that, like, now, but that's at the end of the year, right? Yeah. We don't – social chairs don't really do anything, but <laughs> until, like, a couple months before the social, that's when we start getting our stuff together. But yeah, it's pretty chill right now. Interesting. So, How would you get that, like, position? So they have avid officer elections. So I, I went for vice president last year not knowing what I was going to get into, and then somebody else got it, and I saw what they had to do, and, like <laughs> – there's no, I was doing that again. So I did social chair last year, and I'm social chair this year again. Got it. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it should be fun. So I'm going to make your sister sing for us. <laughs> I got you. Oh, no, you yeah. Don't, you don't want that. You don't want that. <laughs> <Not me. laughs> no, I heard her this morning. You don't want that. You That's don't crazy. That. You exposed me to sister on here. I yeah. know. For real, this goes on the internet. <laughs> this is going to be on this. YouTube. <laughs> no, she won't watch it. She literally won't watch it. I'm I'll show her the clip. <laughs> We were like, go to 1239 and watch that right <laughs> there. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, lastly, I think um, 
as a senior, like you have sports and then you have all your clubs, do you think it's like, do you ever regret being in so many things? Um, last year, second semester, I definitely did. Um, I didn't really know what I was getting into doing sports and work. I'd go straight from school, go to practice, and then go to work, you know, and I wouldn't get done to home until 3, 4 in the morning. So it was a lot of my body and mo emotionally. Um, so I think with the procrastination, I definitely regretted it last year and wish I didn't do so much to help my GPA. But this year, I don't regret it. I'm excited. Like, I'm still working. I'm excited to go play tennis. Like, I I know what I need to do based on my past, so I know what I need to do to manage all that. Yeah. So basically, you're just going to be more organized yeah. and don't mindful of your time. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, um, do you have any questions for us? Not really. No, nothing, not one. But we're so interesting. Know. You, you know, can ask one us question. anything. What's your dog's name? You talked about your dogs earlier. Oh, right, right. Okay, guys. So I have a dog. I have two dogs. I have Rolly and Jesse, And then I have another one. She's rude to me. She's old. I like her. She's old. She so gives she's me nice. dirty looks. I don't like her. You were sitting in your car so sad. I felt bad. When? The other day. Like every day. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm because to there's get so it. much traffic after school. I just want to go home. You just wait there. I just wait there until all the buses leave because they're annoying. That's when she responds to all the TikToks I send her. I just get yeah. spammed when I'm going home, and I'm like, oh, it's Jasmine. <laughs> mm -hmm. For sure. So, any more questions? Nothing. Anything you want to say to anyone? Nope. No, um, nothing. I love you, Chris. It's my little brother. Shout out to Kisses. That's his little nickname. That's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you guys for watching the senior Surviving Senior Itis podcast. I'm Sam. And I'm Jaslyn. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs>